Right, so Ludwig, to me it's always been such an interesting way, you know, there's, there's absolute science about pruning roses and there's always all these arguments out there about, you know, do you cut it above the node or how do you go about pruning a rose? Could you maybe just give us and our viewers a bit more insight about how to prune roses? Yes. at your plant and <clears throat> assess how did it grow over the past season. The last season. Okay, so that's step one. You want to establish how establish. your plant has grown. Yes. Okay. And in most cases, uh, one will look at the plant mm -hmm. and you will see the old wood from the year before or two years before right, right. compared to the new wood. Yes. Now, okay. roses they need to be rejuvenated. Okay. They yes. want to start with new growth and right. the older growth is going back. Right. And now, that's of course because they flower on new wood. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And like on this bush here, when you look at it, you can see it on the coloring mm. where the where thorns, the, which are prickles, yes. are br Gray and that would of old. course be over, that's over there. The old that's the old yes. wood over there. See, right? That whole stem is old. I see. Yes. And that stem is old. Right. This stem is old. Yes. And yes. Compared to the, the thorns, one, which hey. are more brown yes. on the new stems. Very interesting. So you you kind of do it by color. Would how well you... the color gives you an idea of right. what is older. Okay. And also the color on the stems. This is sort of greenish. Yes. Uh, compared to the other one. I can see but that, yes. It is clearly that this old stem, mm -hmm. it grew well, it flowered. Yes. And then a new stem came out from underneath. Right, right. This was an old stem. Yes. Last year it was pruned here uh, and it grew out and this gave us a lot of nice stems. Shoots. Yes, yes. And then it started to make new stems and they bypass All the old the way grows hey, and show you this is it. Yes. So it's obviously logical to say, well, you retain right. the newer stems and cut out the, old the older ones. stems. Right. Makes so that's sense. the rejuvenation oh, nice. uh, okay. of a rose. Very nice. So basically we're going to remove the old wood yes. and keep yes. the new old wood yes. in that sense. So Ludwig, we just uh, pruning this to sort of hip height now so yes. and and the way i understand it the reason for that is so that we can better assess sort of what's going on with this plant and how we want to train it is that correct that's correct yes. okay yeah. cool so for anyone out there who's interested in pruning roses or um, has some roses in their garden uh, it's a plant that can take quite a hard cutback is that correct yes sure and so they, sh they really shouldn't be too scared of really climbing into the bush and mowing it down because at the end of the day that's really going to help it more than hurt it. That's right, yes. Lovely. So there you have it, if you're at home, there's the expert telling you, don't be scared, climb into your bush, spend some time, mow it down and then get into a position where you can make the right decisions to prune them to give you those beautiful flowers. So again, you can look into your plant. Yes. And then it's easy I to can decide. Clearly see it from here. Which hey? you yes. could keep, ah, which are ah. the new stems. And then Very as you proceed cutting out the old stems. Yes. Then. Uh, um, and so rejuvenating so it. So rejuvenating. Hey? You see, and you, you can uh -huh. you can do it in two stages. Okay. You can see this is a nice new stem. Uh -huh. uh, so Come you could form see. Come forward a bit closer. Ah, cut it out. You see? Right. Okay. So yes. So now the flow is here. I'm with you. But we're still keeping that old stem in there. Right. Right. This one is obvious. Yes. That uh, we've got a new one coming out there, and we're moving the old one out here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Just get him out there. There we go. Oh, beautiful. So very clearly removing the old wood yeah. and leaving see? the new one. Uh, uh, we we uh. did cut this here. Yes. But it is the old stem. I ah, see. And I'll pull this one from the top, please. So this one we're moving right at the bottom, eh? Hey? Beautiful. And up he comes. 
Okay. And look at that, just See beautiful. How it opens it up already. Absolutely and opens up so okay. clearly. Now obviously, if you leave all this, mm -hmm. it's far too much. I can imagine, yes. If it yes, all needs yes. to grow. Right. So again, you have the two option here. Yes. Uh, and it's easier to say, you start off with yes. cutting it out. Okay, and that again allows and then you to you see, it. do you have to remove it all together? Okay, okay. One thing one needs to check out. Yes. If you leave stems. Right. You expect three new stems to come up. Okay, okay. And they need space. Right, right. So you need a minimum of okay. 20 centimeters from cut to cut. Oh, interesting. The length of a shear. At the top. Oh, lovely. So you if measure they're too it with close the together. Shear. Okay, very nice. Then uh, the new crowd stems each come other, out yeah. and they crowd each other. Yes. And of course, in wind and so on, yes, uh, yes. they can damage it. Okay, okay. So, so we want about, what, three or so per stem? Well, or whatever. You want that 20 centimeter. Ah, I see. Okay. So now so here more about you would have already uh, yes. uh, those spaces. And look at that see? lovely yeah. all along. And this is now going to give him enough space to grow to new grow. growth. Yeah. Lovely. So these little stems here inside, yes. if you don't cut them out, huh. they will die off. Okay, okay. Because so now it will die the itself. leaves will come out yes. here and no leaf falls onto these stems. And then they have no option. No light, uh, so they die back. They die back, yes. Okay, very interesting. So we'd be removing all of yep. these smaller yep. guys then. Hey. Anything sort of smaller than a pencil, the, the books yep. say, hey? Yeah, sort of, yeah. Okay, okay, lovely. And so let's just quickly finish up all these little and guys. Here, lovely. Hey, beautiful cup shape. Hey, that's also an important part of yeah, also also the structure. Yeah, it's very vigorous hey. rows, you see? Yes, yes. There would be too much crowding here. Uh -huh. I see. And just nap him off. Yeah. Beautiful, hey? Gosh, absolute expert. Now, you can leave it like this. <laughs> yes. It's grown well. Uh -huh. You know? And if you find, well, maybe with the other roses it's too tall. You cut it down. You cut it down. Mm -hmm. I see. Interesting. The funny thing happens that if you cut it down, yeah. you find suddenly your spacing. Ah, it's shorter. Yeah. It's right. shorter, of course. Then you've got to do some narrow. Uh, some repruning. I see. And also, when you've finished, mm -hmm. your main cuts need to be more or less on a level. The same height. Ah, makes if you sense. allow one Taller. higher up because it looks strong, yes, it will be favoured, mm -hmm. and then you get a lopsided growth. Ah, you know, this one will grow more yes, and more because yes, now yes. the light falls onto it from all okay, sides. Okay. The sap goes in and, and then you have a lopsided plant. And that sort of defeats the object. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can take it all the way down. Eh? Now you can see that we have rejuvenated yes, that plant absolutely. totally. Completely cut if back. You, if you think back to from where it was. Where it was. Absolutely yes. amazed, I must say. <laughs> I mean, I've been pruning you uh, my roses for quite some time and uh, I, I prune them back hard, but nothing like this. And uh, very interesting. Thank you for sharing your expertise around this with us. Uh, I think yeah. many of the gardeners out there know exactly who you are. And uh, yeah, guys, here's it. Have the advice, enjoy it, and um, make a difference in your rose garden out there. If <laughs> yes. the rose didn't grow well yes. the year before, and you pruned it very hard, right. it will battle you could hurt to it get bit. out of it. Right. Right. It's right. not that you hurt a bit. Okay. It means it won't make so many leaves, and uh. then the roots don't grow. Uh, so, so you've got to make sure you've got a healthy plant. If you're planning if you, to if prune, you plan to prune very hard, and yes. this one was growing very well, okay. yes, so that was. means obviously the roots yes, were yes. happy, yes. yes, and you can expect with watering and normal fertilizing to yes. get that same growth, vigorous growth again.